Well, we are in the gold fields uh, this afternoon and I've just pulled up here just randomly. No real, um, you know, we're in the gold fields, but that's about all. But I've pulled up and immediately I'm seeing bits of glass everywhere. Um, quite close to a road, as you can probably hear, but there is just um, bits of glass old glass and even some ginger beer bottle pieces i think that's what that is and quite a lot of glass sort of here and some blue pottery so um china so um it's a promising start i've no doubt there's been detectors through here but um you know, it's a good sign to start with, so we'll see what we can find. Still near the car here, and my first find is going to be a eye find. Can you see that there? The horseshoe in the tracks of the modern car. Well, not quite a horseshoe, but part thereof. Just below the leaf litter here, we have got our first find which is a button and it has nothing on it so it's just a plain one anyway button and glass there's got to be something else here <laughs> there's Let's what see. is left of a clockwork tin toy out here got a little uh, axle with a little uh, mags there <laughs> and still got some cogs in there Mud guards. So, some kind of old car. Anyway, I guess it'll rust in peace out here. Just noticed these rocks down here, and I don't know if it's just me or they seem to be um, in a bit of a square here. Rock, rock, rock. There's one missing, and then they go up this way. So, you know, it could be just um, natural, but anyway, I just noticed them there, sort of in a bit of a square here, so I'm not saying it's a uh, old chimney or something, but it's certainly something to keep an eye out for, so anyway. Well, I was down near the road, sort of going along just in the scrub here, and I sort of, there's bits and pieces of glass, so I found a um, piece of a ginger beer bottle and a bit of green glass, so I decided to come up into the bush and see if they've come from sort of up here, and, you know, just wandering around. Found a few more bits of glass here in this bit of a clearing. Some old black stuff as well. And then I had a 14 down here. We've got a lantern top. So there's definitely been somebody out here. Um, hasn't got the winder on it, but um, the advancer thing on it, but. Um, Anyway, that's what it is. So, a squashed lantern top. So anyway, we'll see what else we can find. Just about uh, three feet behind me is where I found the lantern top. And I had a little seven here. And we've got whatever that is. Um, don't really know what it is, but... Um, bit of brass tubing that's been folded over so I don't know but um, you know there's a couple of things in this area so it's um, certainly encouraging and I'm going to see if there's anything even better in this area but anyway you find an area with a couple of signals you got to um, stop and check it out for sure just up here somewhere was where I found a few little bits and pieces and um, there's a few 
mine shafts here as you can see one there and you know digs and divots and stuff um, there's a lot of jittery signally things out here but nothing that could really pick up on so um, I don't know but anyway I just noticed you know there's digs everywhere but there is a bit of a ridge running along here and a bit of a drain probably doesn't show up as well on camera but the drain that curves around here so I don't know whether there was building or tents here sort of nice flat ground but anyway um, I had a 8 over here and I finally found a signal that um, was consistent enough to dig and our 8 was get out of the sunlight that little guy which is a anchor button a little one and he would have had a uh, metal back on him I'd say but the metal's gone and we're just left with the front bit but um anyway so we've got an anchor button might be all we find today <laughs> as far as anything decent goes but anyway we'll keep looking I'm probably not going to do a lot of live digs today so I thought I'd try this one um, just under my feet there is where I've got the little button and I just stood up and swinged around and we've got a I've got my headphones on because I'm near the road but um, 1516 just there so let's see what it is it's sort of the higher sort of numbers I've dug today it's all been pretty low numbers so far that I've found apart from uh, maybe one bottle cap I found so I think we will have got it because it wasn't too far down Maybe not. Got it out now. Might be just going to be a bit of metal, I think. Bit of something. Don't ask me what something so that was all our signal was just over there is where I found the button and the bit of metal and I found another bit of metal and then I've sort of swung around and come up to here and I had a uh, 14 down here and we can all see that in there so what on earth is that looks kind of pretty is it a button? Uh, maybe not I suppose it could be it's just a um, funny thing on the back so I'll give that a gentle clean because it's kind of pretty brittle and I'll see what we've got I don't think it's a cuff link it's um, uh, could be I suppose, but um, this is just a bit of a weird sort of button. But anyway, we'll give it a clean and we'll be back in a tick. Well, there we have her a little bit cleaner. Um, not really in the best sunlight here, but um, the fact is, I think I'll try and find a bit more sun. That's better. So, I'll try again. So, She's very bread, uh, fragile and uh, crusty. I can just see the tiniest bit of goldy gleam to it. So it has been gold gilded. And it's got patterns going on there. 
and we've got that thing on the back which you can just see there some little threads of material still hanging in there so there's still material stuck behind that so um, obviously that um, I don't know, held on to material somehow I don't know whether they're the threads that held it on or the actual material. But anyway, she's pretty <laughs> fragile, but I guess she's probably been in the ground for a, over a hundred years, so <laughs> probably can't blame it. Anyway, I've never found anything really like that before, but I'm surprised the materials lasted on it so long. I had some pretty jittery numbers here, anywhere from 15 to 18 sort of weren't really good numbers, but a big chunk of black um, glass came up. I think it's black. Anyway, and also what came up was a good old button. <laughs> so, I don't think there's anything on that. So we'll just keep going, but um, she was down a fair way anyway. That is an old exit. I think it goes up that way. So I'd hate to imagine how old that is, but <laughs> I dare say it's been out here a fair while. That one was just under the leaf litter. I just flicked it aside with my foot and there it was. So, um, just another plain one by the looks. We're not getting any with riding on them today. Check the back as you do, but I don't think there's anything on it. Just a plainy. found a couple of lantern parts here and a bit of lead and um, it's a bit of a mound here so I don't know if there was an uh, uh, old fire pit here or a, a chimney or something but anyway had a 13 down here under all this rocks and stuff and it is just a bit of brass so but on this side we have got some patterns on it so it has been actually i've just seen there's a dog there i didn't see what that was before so i'd nearly say that is part of a black powder flask so <laughs> i didn't even notice that dog when i was cleaning it i just noticed this branchy bit with um that but now that i look at it we've got the old hunting hound there Possibly some sort of grasslandy thing behind it. So now that I've seen that, I'm pretty confident in saying that is part of a powder flask for a musket um, gun. So that is pretty cool. Well, there's certainly a few signals in this area, so I'm certainly targeting in on it, and there's still the signs of bits of crockery and glass but I had a 13 down here I've dug quite a few bits of melted metal and brass and stuff and then I had a 13 and I thought uh, some sort of washery tarp oilety thing but I reckon that may be something more interesting um, I'll have to give it a clean but I reckon that may be some kind of little pendant so without further ado we'll give it a clean and see what it is under the dirt so we're back in a tick it's definitely some sort of uh pendant thing got the little loop on the top there and a bit of fancy brass work there and the back is just like that so Anyway, a little pendant, which is a 13. 
As you can see, I'm right out near the road and <laughs> got two dollars. So someone's pulled up in their car and hopped out and dropped that one. Anyway, um, there is just a bit of old glass out here still. Um, so I'm just searching out here and seeing if there was anything out here. Anyway, got two dollars. <laughs> So, there's a fair bit of modern rubbish, of course, but, um, you know, once upon a time, this would have been the road that the horses and carts went along, so, see what we can find. Well, it's already September, the year has flown, and September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. My dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2017 and in April of this year after a scan they found that it got into his spine and about three weeks ago after more treatment um, they found that the cancer had bolted and wasn't responding to treatment and um, dad's health is sort of gone downhill pretty fast um, mainly due to pain and um, getting a less getting a bit less um, mobile and so you know things can move pretty quickly um, from dad walking around to now using a walking frame and in pretty constant pain so um just a reminder to if you know someone who has cancer or any illness at all really um whether it be your grandfather your poppy your nana grandma uncle aunt brother sister friend just um remember to give them that phone call or visit and um, be there to listen to them, to talk to them, because it can be pretty overwhelming, all the doctor's visits and decisions that you suddenly have to make. And you don't want to regret um, if things move fast suddenly that you didn't um, reach out to them. So um, just a reminder to um, be there for those who are going through a rough time. been walking through the bush um, in the gold fields and I thought I'd walk up to the back of this place which can't really see but it's an old church so I think it's 1860s 1870s so I thought why not come in the bush around the back and um, you know see if there's anything else around here there's a bit of, you know, rubbish around, but haven't found anything yet. But we're going to keep wandering and see if we can find anything. That's my strategy anyway. <laughs> so we'll see if it pays off. Kind of near town, as you can probably hear. <laughs> so you have to excuse the um, unserenic music. But um, I've just stumbled across a bit of a an old settlement, I think, or an old um, couple of dwelling sites anyway. There's a bit of a mound here, it says an old chimney mound, and another one here, and there's a couple more out here. So, you know, it's a nice um, thing to come across. But, um, you know, haven't really found any signals yet, but I found a bit of um, old willow plate. And how do I know it's a willow plate? Well, I've got that, and then I found this piece, which goes there. And that says, improved W willow. So that is indeed a piece of willow plate. 
as you can see one's been buried up one way and one's been buried up the other way but anyway I think that's how they go so <laughs> we may find the whole plate yet but anyway it's a good sign there's little uh, bits and pieces of glass around so I'm gonna see if we can find any um, signals there has been other detectors through here but we're still gonna have a look now a bit hard to see but there is another um, just a bit of a mound here so possibly another chimney site and I had a eight down here and we got getting in the sunlight we got that one which I do believe is a button um, but I'll give it a clean and find out I think so we'll be back in a tick well that's a first for me a three hole button <laughs> I think it's a button but the holes aren't very um, well centered so perhaps it wasn't a button but anyway I've got a bit of patterning on there haven't quite worked out what I think it's just random patterns three holes and you know it's about all so I'm assuming it was used as a button whether it was meant for one originally I don't know but um anyway a three hole button we'll call it that 